National Drug Authority has carried out an operation in West Nile districts and impounded government medicines, those donated by NGOs to the refugee communities and those smuggled from Democratic Republic of Congo. In Nebi district, a drug shop operator was found in possession of TB drugs, 10 tins of amoxicillin, a microscope, and other assorted government medical suppliers valued at over 35 million shillings. The culprit is being detained at Nebi Central Police Station and will be charged of unlawful possession of classified drugs and operating as a pharmacist without a license. Some are conducting unauthorized clinical practices. When we give you license to operate a drug shops, we don't give you license to start injecting people. So we found others were doing clinical work in these drug shops. This is Mary Ozele, a 53-year-old, and her daughter, Annie Roth Lois, 19-year-old, of Ferusi Kondo Village, Nebi districts, were found in possession of TB drugs, 10 tins of amoxicillin, microscope, and other assorted medicines, clearly labeled government of Uganda, not for sale. I emphasize this. I always ask them, do you know how to read? I know. What is this? Government of Uganda not for sale. Why are you selling it? Arua District Chairman Alfred Okuonzi suspects government health workers might be smuggling government drugs to private health facilities. Our service providers in public health facilities must be, you know, exit point for these essential health supplies. Because we have stores, we have storekeepers, we have gates in these health facilities. How do these things uh, these supplies leave our health facilities. Arua District Resident Commissioner Fesas Aikobua wants NDA officials to compel the alleged culprits to speak out on how they got these drugs. It will not only be good for us to pick the drugs and leave these people there because these people can easily help us to, to tell us how they have acquired these drugs. So that next time those who have also the mindset that they want to get free drugs from the government uh, health units will really fear that the, next, the other time so and so they were arrested because of having government drugs. The operation that started on 7th June was conducted in the nine districts of West Nile, impounded 171 boxes of drugs from closed drug shops in clinics. The drugs will be destroyed if the owners do not turn up to legalize their operations with the authority.